Hello everyone. Let us learn the basics of Omega T. Omega T is the only free CAD tool that is available for translators. Let's go on. First, what is a CAD tool? CAD tool is any software that helps a translator by saving the source and target text in a linguistic database or translation database that is called translation memory. It is very much helpful to a linguist as well as a translation company or a LSP. For example, Omega T, SDL Trados, MemoQ are some examples of a CAD tool. What are all the advantages of a CAD tool? If you use a CAD tool, your productivity will increase by 20 to 50 percent depending on the efficiency of your usage. CAD tool improves your consistency. How? For example, if there are repetitive text, if you translate in one manner at the first occurrence, the remaining occurrences will be automatically filled by the CAD tool. So, your consistency will improve. By saving the typing efforts and time, you are also able to save the time in case of repetitive text. Next, it eliminates the formatting issues in various file formats such as highly formatted word file frame maker file or indesign file when you use a cat tool all these formatting issues will be eliminated or reduced to the least and you don't even have to own those software if you have a cat tool next if you are properly using the QHX available in a CAD tool, you will ensure almost close to perfect quality of your translations. Next, the main advantage of CAD tool is the reusability of translation. For example, if you do a translation today, and if it is saved in your translation memory, it will be reused throughout your translation career. So you don't have to type the same text again and again or copy pasting or finding and replace. Those things will be eliminated and thereby you are saving a lot of time and effort by implementing a CAD tool in your workflow. Okay, next. Let us see what are all the disadvantages of a CAD tool. CAD tools generally cost from $400 to $900 or even more than that. Next, there is a learning curve. You have to put some effort and time to learn a CAD tool. But once you learn that, you will become very efficient in using the CAD tool. And you need to have a basic computer knowledge and little bit text savvy uh, to proceed very comfortably with a CAD tool. And any CAD tool may come with bugs and issues. So suddenly it may crash or suddenly it may throw some error and you may have to debug those errors. That is also a problem with the CAD tool. And there may be any other advantage, disadvantages which I may not have covered here. Okay, next. Let's come to Omega T software. Omega T is a Java based software. It is free for lifetime and it is open source. So if you know programming and compilation, even you can modify the source code and adapt the software to your needs. Anyway, that is optional and it works on multiple platforms, example, Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Sun Solaris operating systems. 
you might have known that majority of cat tools will work primarily in windows whereas this free cat tool works in multiple platforms and it supports 30 plus file formats for you and indian languages are unicode based so this software also supports indian languages such as hindi tamil telugu and kannada etc next omega t software was initially developed by keith godfrey in c++ language currently it is being hosted on sourceforge website and there is a development team which is led by mr aaron madlon k and uh, he is a wonderful uh, he is giving a wonderful support to our queries and uh, doubts and everything i have personally uh, got many of my doubts clarified by this uh, uh, head this development team head really it's an excellent support for a free software and they keep releasing the regular new versions of omega t not only the stable build but also there is beta build and sometime even the nightly build uh, versions available if you uh, if you want to test new features support to indian languages is a very big advantage for indian language translation next now coming to the features of omega t software it uses the tmx format for its translation memory tmx means translation memory exchange format which is the universal format for all cat tools and you can have glossary in text csv and tbx format tbx is term based exchange format which is the common format for term bases that is terminology databases created from bilingual or trilingual glossaries it also has the fuzzy or partial match feature that is any match from 51% to 99% that feature is available you also have the option to use machine translation but please note that you can use only the paid mt options in omega t next one of the very big advantage of omega t is that you can use trados files and trados packages and other cat tool files in omega t but you have to add a additional plugin copy framework plugin to enable this functionality otherwise by default trados files won't work but by uh just installing the plugin you will be able to handle trados and other cat tool files so if you want additional functionality apart from the basic omega t functionality you can always use the okapi framework plugins to get more functionalities next what is a translation memory for example source plus target plus parameters that forms the translation memory now let us take a example for example here we are considering french as a source language and english as a target language je m'appelle govinda rajan it is there in french in english it is either i am govinda rajan or my name is govinda rajan then there are parameters like username for example govind and timestamp of creation of this segment okay now the tm will save the french sentence the english sentence plus date or username or whatever parameters so this is the simplest definition of a translation memory your source sentence plus target sentence plus parameter forms the translation memory and it will start building up from one sentence to thousands and lakhs and lakhs of sentence as you keep on translating files throughout uh, the year and several years together okay and uh, what is the match and fuzzy match and no match okay 
let us say that my name is govind rajan this sentence is saved in the translation memory now currently if i want to translate this same my name is govind rajan this thing will be compared with the tm segment and i will get a 100% match and it will be automatically substituted by omega t if as in case 2 i am going to translate my name is govind rajan without a full stop so in that case it will be a 99% match and if you consider the case 3 my name is govind so it may be approximately a 80% match suppose if i am going to translate i live in india so i live in india and my name is govind rajan which is saved in the translation memory are not at all matching in any manner so it will be a no match so case 1 will be 100% match case 2 and case 3 are fuzzy match and case 4 is a no match okay please note that some companies may discount you for repetitions and fuzzy matches that is case 2 and case 3 okay next repetition if a sentence is repeating many number of times within a same file or if you are handling a set of files then that is also considered as a repetition okay for example if my name is govind rajan is repeating five times in the same file or let us say you are handling a project with a set of file you are having four or five files if the segment in first file that is the sentence my name is govind rajan is there in first file as well as the second file as well as in the third file then also it will be considered as a repetition if you translate this my name is govind rajan in the first file it will be automatically filled in the second file third file or fourth file so you are saving the typing effort and the energy required to uh, type the thing as well as you are saving the time this is one of the main advantage of any cat tool next when you are going to translate a paragraph this paragraph will be segmented into segments okay so segment can be one word or many words but it will be subdivided to smaller segments okay so all cat tools have their own segmentation principles and delimiters to uh, split the paragraph into a segment so when you want to translate a particular sentence cat tool will compare this sentence with whatever sentence is saved in the translation memory whether anything is matching if there is a match it will automatically apply if there is no match then it will keep the target side empty so you have to manually enter the translation generally the segmentation will be like a paragraph based or sentence based segmentation by default it will be a sentence based segmentation and you can always modify the segmentation rule in a cat tool okay. so omega t deals with two types of project for example if i am a translator working alone as a freelancer then i will use the standard project next case is if i am working with a set of translator a team of two or three people then i will use the option of team project so i will have a common directory where the files and the translation memory is kept so that everyone will be able to access and use the file shared between the set of freelance translators in standard project what will it have it will have files for translation optionally you can have glossary certainly there will be a tm which will save your translation otherwise there is no meaning in using a cat tool then optionally you can use a paid machine translation and you can you have to configure the empty then you can additionally use additional plugins such as Rados plugin from okapi framework and there are also general setting for the omega t software 
there is also QA thing that you can do with Omega T. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this is very useful to you. Please like and subscribe this Cat Tool Guide channel. Thank you and have a nice day.